See, I just knew standing around here would pay off. That barrier couldn't take it anymore and just shattered. <sighs> Good work, Augustin. I knew I could count on you. Are you heading up the mountain? This is a long way up, but the old road was blocked off ages ago, so you don't have much choice. Don't worry about us. You stay here and guard these rocks. I'll take it as a personal challenge. You and me, Duff, we're gonna save the world. who can't fly. Yes, but you're the one with the big mouth. Hey! Peace. The great traitor? You're talking about King? My kind does not utter his name. His actions ended many innocent lives, and while his spirit may be absolved now, we remember only his life and the tragedy it wrought. He seemed truly remorseful for his actions. Perhaps he was. Perhaps we were to accept his remorse. This would not bring my family back. Let us not dwell on his wicked actions any more than we must. Very well. Fidget. Double jumping over that. Stupid avalanches ruin everything. Go ahead, name me one good thing an avalanche has ever done. 
Well, now that you mention it, this might be a crazy idea, but maybe we can clear some of the snow off of that mountainside. You mean, make another avalanche? That's the idea, yes. You're crazy. I love it. Really? Do I need to be the voice of caution here? Need I explain how creating an avalanche puts us all in danger? It's really the only way, Ara. Yeah, Ara, it really is. Is it? It is. Very well. Let's do this thing! Well, that did something. It sure did. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we find another one. Huh? That obviously wasn't enough. We need to break more pillars. Fidget, I think the bitter cold is creating lapses in your judgment. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I'm perfectly... perfectly... <laughs> Dust, be careful. Watch overhead. The snow is not the only thing you are shaking loose.
Let's not keep it waiting then. The path above has been made clear. Onward and upward. I knew that this was a bad idea.
Up ahead. A village. All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's... En enough talking. Let's get up there. Halt! What? No. Impossible! Cassius! What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You... You were dead! No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer! Kill this... thing! Remember it. I know it when I heard it. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh. Dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Aro, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. something dust this is impossible dust how do you see now but how Ara? i don't understand the answers lie above dust Ginger, she was sleeping right here, on the night I came to say goodbye, but I, I didn't want to wake her, didn't want her to worry about me, she couldn't know what I was about to do. Just, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, your, but how, what's going on here? I... I remember now, but how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They are Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. 
So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, an act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are djinn, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday, that he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger, I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land, and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here. And we can finish this fight once and for all. How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium, ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The Blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure our balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. I have no more questions. What now? 
You must join us in the Moonblood Camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or some place that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Up Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you, really? I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! Lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following. And why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? Get it! It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's Dust! That's who he is! That's who I know. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry. I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise.